This is Coogan Cassius for Apple TV. We're at the return of the state press conference here at Wembley. With me, I've got renowned MC Michael Buffer. Well, Michael, I didn't even know you were going to be here today. Uh, it's good to be here. You know, when I first heard about something called the return of the saint, I thought maybe George Sanders Jr. would be coming out to take his father's uh, role. And somebody my age, you think of the saint as, you know, the old TV show, but of course it's George Groves. And uh, he's coming back after his, his two losses. But, you know, when somebody is 19-2 and two with 15 KOs, you know they're a puncher, he's young, he's going to be uh, ready to go, and, he, and he's taking on a, a very good boxer uh, from France, uh, Christophe Rebossé, and uh, it's going to be a good fight at uh, Wembley and expect a big crowd. Obviously, George is returning to, uh, not Wembley Stadium, but Wembley uh, Arena uh, from his defeat to Carl Frost yeah. back in May. So. Do you think there was any sort of psychological thing of coming back, returning here uh, to sort of exercise any demons? I, I think it just shows that he's not uh, superstitious, that he's a, a fighter that's uh, you know young, still feels good about himself, and, and you know doesn't uh, worry about like I'm not going to go in the same area where I suffered my worst loss. He's, he's uh, here to fight, here to win. How was the whole Fox Groves experience for you, Michael? Oh, it was brilliant. It was, it was one of the best experiences ever. Uh, 80, 85,000 people in attendance, uh, well behaved, excited, uh, they, they came early, they stayed late and really enjoyed themselves and for me as an announcer it's, it's a dream come true to be able to uh, introduce uh, fighters of that stature in front of a, a big crowd like that so it was a great experience for me. Just out of curiosity, what has been your record ever attendance that you've emceed in front of? No, my record actually would be at the Indy 500 with over 400,000 people in attendance. So that, that's, that's going to be a record that I, I don't think will be broken. Boxing-wise? Boxing-wise, it, it probably is my record, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I, I, you spoke to Jules in there. He seems relaxed and confident, and he just wants to get his career back on track. Yeah, he, he looks very, very fit. He looks like a model today in a three-piece suit. Uh, you know, he's young. It's funny, you know, in the world of boxing, when you refer to a fighter as being cute, it usually means that, you know, like Angelo Dundee and Bill Clancy would say, yeah, he's a cute kid, and that meant that he was a, a clever boxer, that he has all the little moves that, that a clever boxer has. Um, I think when women refer to a fighter as being cute, they're, they're thinking of George Groves, because he, he, he's a good-looking young man, looks more like he should be in a boy band sometimes uh, instead of the ring. But he looks, uh, he looks really good. Uh, just, we were just talking about Game of Thrones and some TV shows and things, and he's just very relaxed and, and uh, in, in a good mood. And, and as I might say, he's ready to home. Did you happen to catch the Mayweather fight over the weekend, Michael? I uh, just saw like some highlights of it. I didn't really see it and read about it. And uh, once again, it uh, looks like Floyd was the total dominant fighter that it, people always think of him as being. Would you like to see the Pacquiao fight next year? I'd love to see it. I personally think it's a difficult fight to make because of egos, finances, promoters, networks, that sort of thing. But if it could be made, uh, I'd love to see it. We recognize yourself and, and Jimmy Lennon Jr. as the two, you know, the standout MCs, obviously, from, from America. Do you two guys ever talk and, you know, converse? No, we, we never really run into each other because we're usually working uh, at, at different places on the same night or, or else I'm watching him on TV or if he's a fight fan, I'm sure he is. And he sees me, uh, you know, on, on different shows. But, uh, uh, you know, I've run into him occasionally. He's, he's a fine gentleman. He's a really good guy. I didn't know whether all the MCs in America just got together every now and again and traded stories and or well, not. It's a good idea. Maybe we should try to arrange that. I'll leave that up to you. I'll sort that out. Yeah. All right, Michael Buffer, thanks for talking to iPhone TV and uh, you. enjoy your time here in England. Okay, good to see you again. Thank Th you. Thank you very much.